G'day, it's Staff here from the TAB. We've got six games of Investec Super Rugby to have a quick look at and see just what I think is going to happen starting on Friday night in Auckland where the Blues host the Stormers. Both sides are coming off an away loss. Uh, but the key for me, as I mentioned, the key last week for the Blues without Jerome Kino against Scott Higginbotham, I thought that brought about a big imbalance. Expecting Kino to come back this week, um, and that's going to nullify Skulk Berger, who's probably one of the Stormers' best as well. I'm going to pick a Blues marginal little victory. I've, they've just been showing me a little bit more recently. Even though they lost over in Queensland, I think they're in a good spot to win this one by six or seven points. So I'll say the Blues by 12 and under. Next up we've got the Crusaders against the Chiefs and finally the injury toll caught up on the Crusaders last week. The Cheetahs getting the, the better of them. Just too many good players and too many important positions missing for the Crusaders. They are welcoming back a host of them this week. That should be enough to get them across the line. I think they'll be a little bit rusty. Like I think Richie McCaw and Dan Carter were both not quite where they'd like to be last week. They've got a game under their belt but the others with the likes of uh, Brad Thorne and co, they will probably need the game. So the Crusaders and another narrow one in Hawke's Bay. Next one is the Waratahs against the Lions. Well, this will be guaranteed to be an awful, boring game of rugby. If you go back and watch the highlights packages from Waratahs games, they're about 30 seconds long because they, they're just awful. Um, but they'll be good enough to strangle the Lions and eke out an ugly win uh, the Waratahs by 12 and under for me in that one. Next up, we've got the Force against the Brumbies. Now, this, this could be a watershed-type game for the Brumbies because they have been awful, then they get slightly worse to terrible, and now they're just absolutely dire. They cannot turn a trick. The Lions beat them last week uh, away from home. Now, the Brumbies go on the road to play the Force, who have been... They've found some pretty good form themselves, and I just think the gap is so huge. Forget about history. Think about this season... The Force, 13 and over for me. I think they'll give the Brumbies their pants on a plate. Next one, Cheetahs against the Rebels. Now, the Cheetahs, if you've been watching these every week, they are fast becoming my second favourite team in the competition. They're in wonderful form. They've got pace, they've got power, they've got skill, they've now got self-belief. All of those things the Rebels haven't got. So, for me, another 13 and over home win here, and that one's the Cheetahs easily disposing of the Rebels. Last game is the Sharks against the Bulls. Simple pattern here. The Bulls lose to teams that are above them on the table and they beat teams that are below them on the table. That will continue. Sharks are coming off a bye, well rested. They go well in that state if you remember the start of the season. They were unbelievably good. They are at home in Durban and surging towards a top six spot. They need the scalp, the Sharks. So for me, Sharks 12 and under. There's all six. Hope you can pick the bones out of that and make some money this week.